Please welcome this week's special guest, John. <laughs> right, uh, Miles, first of all, uh, what, what is John to you? Uh, John and I were paid to fight together in a supermarket dressed as... <laughs> dressed as gladiators. Kate, how do you know John? This is John, and uh, when I was in Africa, he and I dressed up in a pantomime giraffe costume in order to get close-up shots of giraffes in the wild. Uh, Lee, what is your relationship with John? This is John. Despite being total strangers, we were once forced to share a bed when we were double-booked into the same hotel room. <laughs> David, where do you want to start? Um, well, maybe with Kate, because... What I'm reluctant to believe mm. is that the best way of lulling giraffes <laughs> into a false sense of security is to try and disguise yourself as a giraffe, because I reckon they'd... I mean, they'd, a giraffe, it takes one to know one. He thought that if we dressed up as a giraffe, then he could put the camera on a kind of periscope thing up the neck of the giraffe yeah. and get that evening shot. Um, of the giraffes against the sunset. Yeah. Now, you said very astutely yeah. that it takes a giraffe to know a giraffe. Yeah. If we tried to do this in daylight, it would have failed completely because giraffes have extremely good day vision, but their night vision isn't very good, and that's why we decided to try it. Why is it then necessary to disguise as a giraffe at all? Why not just take a stepladder? <laughs> They're not completely blind. They're just not necessarily going to worry too much about whether you're made out of polyester or real fur. Do you um, just show us how, how it, you did how this? It works. How it works. Would you like me to do that with John? Lee would be the perfect Lee. partner okay, for this. Lee, if you come... he, has, he has a look of the wild come, about come him. Here. Kate's going to demonstrate yeah. the whole giraffe so, doppelganger with you, Lee. So you are in the front, OK? You need to stand about there. Mm -hmm. And, um, actually, could you three stand up and all just be giraffes in the wild with the sun <laughs> behind them? Yes. OK. Do you, do you ever get the feeling she's mocking us? <laughs> Okay, so you've got this big giraffe costume on and it's got a kind of pole up the back as its spine. Right, you yeah. have got a camera on a pole poking out of the mouth of the giraffe, right, towards right. them, OK? Right. I am... ..behind you. <laughs> Kate, Kate, at, at what point do you say action? I've got the laptop here. <laughs> Right. So I'm checking the focus and saying to John, OK, you're nicely framed up. <laughs> That's looking lovely. There was a By sad... the way, I'm a meerkat. Excellent. Yeah. You're doing a very good job. I think that's. I think that's Is made that... it a lot so clearer. Let's say other... thank you to our giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and most of all, a big round of applause for our meerkat. <laughs> Right. Who would you like to question next? Uh, yes, Miles. You had to dress up as a, a gladiator. A gladiator. Yeah. As in a Roman gladiator, or as in from the TV show Gladiators. <laughs> uh, I, I Roman Roman gladiator. So the sort of sword and sandals. Yeah, uh, breastplates. What sort of gladiator were you? We each had a sword and a shield, and we we did battle. And this was in a supermarket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, were you employed, or was this just... We were... We were in... a <laughs> or a distraction technique, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so that someone else could steal bits of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> we were promoting a range of foods. <laughs> <laughs> fresh <laughs> fresh lion meats, <laughs> you know, the usual. We were, we were promoting uh, a, r <laughs> a range of foods, the Viva Italia delicatessen range. I, I don't know if you remember when Safeways rolled that out. Um, <laughs> And we would, we would have this fight, and then one of us would uh, die, uh, or be beaten, be vanquished, and the other one would say, Oh, how, how did you get the strength to beat me? And you'd say, From aisle seven, where. <laughs> <laughs> where, I've been, where I've been feasting on the, uh, the Italia, the Viva Italia uh, delicatessen. <laughs> what about Lee? Lee, remind us, what is your link to John? I've forgotten. Uh, 
This is John. Yes. And we were once forced to share a hotel room together, or share a bed in a hotel room, because we've been double booked. Um, so, where was the hotel, Lee? The hotel was uh, in Scotland. OK, and any, do you want to be more specific than that? OK. It was <laughs> right in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Be more specific? More specific? Yeah. We, I was at Alice Guy. <laughs> I believe I, I you. Was, I was what, were you what, were you what were you doing? I was uh, at a wedding. Yeah, when was this wedding? Nine years ago. <laughs> you came back from the you came back from the wedding. So, so I came back late, from the wedding. Got to the hotel. I've had a bit too much to drink. Right. I go to reception. I say hello. Uh, I'm I'm. Well, I'd have to say. And um, <laughs> nine years ago. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> But so I told them who I was. She, she leans round, she gives me the key, I go upstairs. No lift. Right. She there. doesn't in any way go, by the way, there is a large man already <laughs> in this room. No, obviously, she wasn't aware of the mix-up, otherwise she would have stopped me, wouldn't she? She didn't... As I walked off, she didn't go... <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> so, so what happened? You, you, you were given the key by reception and yes. then opened the door and he was in there? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> At which point you said... I was a bit drunk, so I just assumed that there'd been a mix-up, wrong key, I was in the wrong room, so I just went, oh, sorry. And he went... Uh, 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 and I thought, I can't remember He said what? He went, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you don't mock him, wait till he opens his mouth in a minute. Rob <laughs> 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 says, come on, who are you? And he goes, Osama. 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 I'm over there, Osama. Then you go back. <laughs> I go to reception down. to, sort of, to I say. Used, I said you've given me the wrong key. Yeah. Then she said, "Sorry, there's, there's she, been, been a mix-up." Been a mix-up, uh, and she said, uh, the, "You're uh, going to have there's... to go back in there." <laughs> I was in the right room. He was in the wrong room, but he checked in earlier on, so it wasn't her mistake. It was a mistake early on by somebody else. Why didn't you investigate the possibility of sharing with the person in the other room? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I did was I went round all the rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at it, soldier. When you realised, when the two of you realised that uh, you were going to have to share a bed together, mm -hmm. did you have a kind of a negotiation? I have never been to bed with anyone where negotiations have been involved. That's not completely <laughs> true. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, did you say, did you say, for example, I like, I like to sleep on this side of the bed? I'm happiest on the right-hand side. Uh, before um, we I've... got to that point, we both tried to not sleep in the same bed. I didn't just go, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to sleep on the left and you can sleep on the right, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> right, so we need an answer. What do you think? <laughs> I really don't know. Whatever we say, if we get it wrong, we'll look like we've believed something ridiculous. <laughs> I don't believe that the best way of photographing <laughs> giraffes at sunset <laughs> is to disguise yourself as a giraffe. I don't... I just... just peep, two actors fighting it's in a supermarket. Work. But But why? If you're pushing a range of sort of <laughs> Italian delicatessen <laughs> foods, are you going to imply that they give you gladiatorial strength? No, they're straight that's, to kill somebody. That's not, that's not what that's people are looking for in that kind of... in a nice bit of pastrami. Or will, but will it be able to give me the strength to murder? <laughs> <laughs> and also, don't you think that John looks like the kind of bloke you would bump into at a Scottish wedding? <laughs> See, I, I, I know it sounds weird. I kind of believe... Kate's version you? more. Yeah. You think I, Lee? I think Lee, yeah. I think Lee. But what if it's Miles then? <laughs> then that's awful, it's Miles then. <laughs> We're gonna say Lee. You're gonna say Lee, the the wedding, the bed, the night together. Yes! <laughs> so John, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm John, and I was once paid to fight Miles in a supermarket. <laughs> Yeah, John and Miles were paid to fight each other in a supermarket while dressed as gladiators. This is a horrible, stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. John. Thank you. <laughs> Please welcome this week's special guest, John. <laughs> right, uh, Miles, first of all, uh, what, what is John to you? Uh, John and I were paid to fight together in a supermarket dressed as... <laughs> <laughs> dressed as... 
dressed as gladiators. <laughs> Kate, how do you know John? This is John, and uh, when I was in Africa, he and I dressed up in a pantomime giraffe costume in order to get close-up shots of giraffes in the wild. Uh, Lee, what is your relationship with John? This is John. Despite being total strangers, we were once forced to share a bed when we were double-booked into the same hotel room. <laughs> David, where do you want to start? Um, well, maybe with Kate, because what 